Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Right now we are going to play with the ready to layer stamp set. This is just a stamp set in our annual catalog and I bet some of you looked at it and went, uh-uh, what is this? Okay, <laughs> it looks really kind of so broken up you don't know what is going on. It intrigued me. I love a challenge. And this stamp set will teach you how to use your Stamparatus along with teaching you how to layer different colors on top of themselves. I stayed within the um, in colors of the Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Powder Pink. The only one I didn't use was Tranquil Tide because there's four stamps. But the, these were the colors that I used for this card. Uh, or this card, this embellishment right here. Look at these. Isn't that fun? You could even color the hello in if you wanted to to make it even more bold. I love that it's a shadow effect. Look at that. That is so much fun. I want to talk about how to line these things up. Um, this is why I don't have a card. It's This is more about technique. Uh, and I am going to make cards with those uh, over there that I that I have made while I've learned myself how to use this. And I also tuned in to France Martin because she has a great video on how to use this stamp set. She gave me good ideas and um, I so appreciate her. So click on over to her, France Martin. Um, she is Frenchy Stamps. And um, she has some great ideas, but uh, she helped me with this through her video. So I'm using my Stamparatus, and what she did was she used our silicone mat as um, like a shim, and it is perfect. <laughs> it also stores the silicone mat someplace else to put it. I think it's fantastic. So I'm using that um, little tip that she gave me. I love that. I want you to show you how beautifully this came out. I'm getting better and better each time I do it. Now, she did suggest to use your darkest color first, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We'll use Fresh Fig. I'm going to take this out, okay, and move that aside and just bring in a piece of scrap Whisper White. I'm going to put it in the corner. It's like she says she's a corner person. I am too. I like to work in the corner. I know things are right then. It just is the right way to do it. So, um, it's really not just the right way to do it. It's the right way for me to do it. If you like to work in the middle, fine. If you like to work on the other side, fine. If you like your corner um, on the left-hand side, you can move the Stamparatus like that. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, you just do better work when things are where you really want it. So, with the Stamparatus, it, this is a hinged positioning device. Look at those hinges, how it picks up. Okay, so we use both sides of these, uh, of, the, of the acrylic plate. And I put my number one on here. These are, are numbered. Let me show you this. These are numbered in here. And you know I love a stamp set when I use the whole thing. When the case is empty, I'm happy. Um, so these have numbers. Little one right here. A little two right there. See? And then the three and the four. Okay, so I decided, and I rarely do something like this, but I decided to go ahead and um, mark them on on my on my photopolymer because it's not going to matter. I just did it with a Sharpie. I put a one there and a two on this one. Let me show you this one. Okay, the two. And then I did the three and the four. Okay? So um, that really, I think that helps also. So what we're going to do first is ink up with Fresh Fig. This is my darkest color. Always start with your dark color. Honest, you get a better result of what this looks like. Okay? Ink it up in your darkest color and then close the door and gently press. Just like that. If it's not enough and you think more needs to be done, go ahead and ink it up again and press it again. Okay? We kind of didn't get any over here. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to press it just like that. 
Okay, I love it. That's perfect. Now, I'm bringing in the chamois. The chamois is fantastic for your Stamparatus guys. Now, a lot of people have been taking this and placing them in their clear case. Okay, that's fine to use it, okay, for like a, um, a holder for it, but um, don't store it like that because it's going to mold. This is wet. When it dries out, it gets smaller and it kind of gets a little hard, and that's okay. All the ink that's in here is not transferable. You can wring this out and wash this out. I can't tell you how many times I've had this thing into the water today. I mean, I just wash the ink out. It stays a little stained. Just, just keep on going. But let me show you how wonderful this is. Okay, I just mop up my Stamparatus and it cleans my stamp perfectly and off of the acrylic just like that, that easily. Okay, I love it. And this will not transfer onto anything else. It kind of, I don't know, it grabs it or holds it. And it doesn't have to be um, soaking wet and wringing out, just damp. Okay, so let's go ahead and close the fresh fig. And now what I did was, when I made, when I made these right here, these, okay, I already lined this up, but we're going to talk about how to line this up. You take your plate, you flip it around. You put number two over here. Just like that, number two. Okay, now, what you're going to do first is you're going to take number two off and you're going to line it up on this, okay? So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you how to line this up, okay? Right here, where this line is on the H, this is so important, and this line down here, the straight on the H, the bottom of the E, the L's, and the bottom of the O. Watch the bottom, I gotta pull this toward me, and this side right here. This must line up to give you the layering of the hello. Don't worry about any of your swirlies. They're gonna fall where they're gonna fall. Your main objective is, to, and I'm sorry I've got to pull this toward me because I really do want it to come out good when I show you guys. Okay. Just like that. Then you t close your Stamparatus. Okay. And it picks it up and it's on this side. Okay. And it is perfectly lined up. Now, you're going to stamp that with Lemon Lime Twist. And remember, it's these straight pieces right here that really line this up and give you the beautiful effect of the hello in the shadow. It's almost like it's um, backwards. Look at that lemon lime twist. Look how nice that is looking on that. See the hello? How defined now it's starting to come because I've lined up on that edge. Again, I'm going to take my chamois. I love this product, guys. Love this product. Love it. Now, I've already got my stamps over here mounted. And it wouldn't even matter if you did four first and then three. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it just, um, with the color even. You know, it's just a layering technique. I stayed within the in color. You know, of course, you could use a color coach and then add another color, some, you know, another hue of a different color to it. Now I'm going in with the Berry Burst on number three. And again, I have lined it up to where these lines right here on the edge, okay, line up. Let me bring this up here. Whoops. Do you see how I have these lines right here? where the H is and here on the bottom okay and you can still see your hello in there okay and this is challenging I'll say at first it's challenging but once you get it oh my gosh how adorable does this look that is just beautiful okay I'm going to use my chamois clean this Now, you can do the same effect if you don't have a Stamparatus. You could do the same thing with the clear blocks. Just make sure it lines up on that edge. I'm going to flip this over. I've already got the fourth one mounted, okay? 
and that we're going to do in our powder pink. And then these have just been running through the big shot with the oval stitched framelits, guys. So, and then I'll probably put like an oval uh, behind it and make a few cards this evening. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to play in the craft room tonight. That is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I mean, really, how that layers on top of itself now. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's a little bit of a challenge. But once you master this, you just got to keep doing it. This is like my one, two, three. I'm using one right now as a bookmark in a book I'm, use, I'm reading. So I've made, this is my fifth one that I've made. So I'm, they're coming out better and better each time. Look at this. Let me move that magnet. Keep your magnets apart because, whew, they come together. Look at that. That came out so pretty. Look at that hello. You could always color that in with Stampin' Blends. Look at these. Oh my goodness. I love the lemon lime twist in it. This one I used um, fresh fig and some Bermuda Bay and lemon lime twist and um, berry burst. That's what I used on that one. But see, as I'm getting there, I'm getting a little bit better each time. I'm really happy with them. Really, really. I love how they are swirly and whimsical like that. So, anyway, this is the Ready to Layer stamp set. It's just the stamp set. It's a lot of fun. It'll take you a little bit to get used to it, lining things up. But I think with this video, it'll help you. And France Martin will help you also. Don't steer clear of this set. This will make a beautiful embellishment on the front of any card. Thanks for watching again, guys. Go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and you can order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Remember, I have the free card kits this month. Remember, Stampin' Up! is, give, is doing, uh, if you sign up as a demonstrator, let me get that out. You get to pick from one of these stamp pad collections, the entire collection. It is 10 stamp pads in the new design. Brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, and the in colors, you can pick from one of them. Sign up to be a demonstrator, you get $125 worth of product for $99. There's a link below that says become a demonstrator. Click join my team after that, and or if you need any help, just email me at joannemaddy at outlook.com. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Happy crafting!